Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge Team Mini Series. And today is day three. Today, we're going to talk to you a little bit about permission levels, which is a portion of the new team enhancement and will basically allow you as the Rainmaker to assign permission levels to people on your team to allow them to do things that previously were only reserved for the Rainmaker. So in order to do that, I do have to switch my account to make sure that I'm under the team account and these permission levels can only be set by the Rainmaker. So once I've transitioned to my team account as the Rainmaker, I'm gonna click on settings. <clears throat> From there, I'm gonna click on general settings and then team management. From here, I will see all of the people that are on my team, including the people that I've added as an admin, right? With my admin slot, we get two of those per team. And then anyone that's also on my team in the win more team tool. And you can see that if I hover over this tool tip, it says user's role in the market center team tool. If for any reason you don't see people on your team, on this list, right? So this list is missing people that are actually on your team. You're gonna to wanna to get with your MCA to make sure that those people have been added to your team inside of the MCA team tool. You can see as the Rainmaker, my permission level in this far right-hand column has been set to unlimited. That is by default and it cannot be changed. Everyone else's permission level has been set to standard. However, those can be changed. And so you'll now see two new permission levels that would be enhanced and unlimited. The unlimited permission level essentially is almost everything that the Rainmaker can do other than as of right now, manage these permission levels and then manage team tags, team lead sources, those types of things. The enhanced uh, level is basically everything that unlimited or the Rainmaker can do except for the ability to delete or export. And if you really want a good walkthrough on this entire setup, you can click up here on the top right, Guided Tour, and you'll see that there's a walkthrough here. So this is where you'll manage your team and permission. Start by, does this look correct, right? Are all these your team people? <clears throat> From there, it'll say, okay, now time to set your permissions. And it shows you the permission levels. And then you can click here to learn more. When you do, it's gonna open the same article I have here, but it's called Team Permission Level Details. This is a fantastic article that Bryston with KWU has uh, written out. He even has a full explanation of the team permission levels. And then a grid, which I love because it's literally everything you can do inside of command with regards to contacts and smart plans. And then who can do what. So you'll see this main section here is all about team owned leads and contacts. And like I said, Enhanced has a checkbox on everything that Unlimited does except for delete and export. And then you can see it transitioned from team owned to agent owned leads and contacts, and then who can do what. And then there's even explanations under each one of these functions and kind of explaining why they can or cannot do what they, uh, they have set up. So we're gonna talk about smart plans coming up here soon. So uh, here's some permission levels with regards to smart plans as well. But that's it for today, guys. Just the ability to come in as the Rainmaker. If you have a director of operations, maybe you're a husband and wife team, maybe you have a partner, you want to give them the unlimited permission level. Maybe you have somebody that um, you know, needs to have enhanced in order to do things in your world. Uh, basically, you have the ability to customize who can do what inside of your team with regards to permission levels for contacts and smart plans. In the future, they will be adding more permission levels, not more permission levels, more functionality. So permission levels would apply to additional uh, applets with inside of command, uh, but that's on the roadmap for the future. So hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you again real soon.